Hi everybody, it's Katie here and welcome back to Live It Well Nutrition. I'm so glad to have you here for another video. Today I'm deviating from the recent nutrition videos that I've been doing because I am a holistic nutritionist and so therefore I do a lot of food related or nutrition and health related videos, but I'm getting back to the mommy related videos and I'm talking about the pros and cons of back to back parenting because this is something that my husband and I intentionally did and not too long ago I was in a coffee shop and I ran into another mom. It's just so funny how you find each other when you're a mom. She had noticed that I was pregnant. I am in my third trimester and I have a 16 month old son and so she had voiced how she was on the fence. She was on the fence and she totally saw my point of view. Um, but I want to stay neutral, so I've got pros and I've got cons. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to end on a positive note, so I'm going to start with the cons. I've got my little sheet here. Um, I know it's very high tech, but one thing that I have heard a lot is that your children will nap at different times, and that is very difficult because you don't get your nap. <laughs> On a nutritional level, when you have back-to-back -back pregnancies, you don't have um, time to kind of restore your reserves of nutrients. So you really have to be paying attention to what you're eating so that your, your new fetus can sort of have priority over your nutritional stores and that those nutritional stores are actually there waiting for your fetus to feed on them. <laughs> okay, so I do imagine that it will be chaotic. That's motherhood, even with one child. And so, but with two, you'll have them arguing, you'll have them super hyper, um, getting hyper off of each other and bouncing around and making even twice as much of a mess. <laughs> um, and so I think that that is something to accept and just know it's gonna happen, it's gonna be chaotic, but hey, Motherhood is a little bit chaotic anyway, so what you gonna do? It will require more patience because you will have two people making a mess, two people wanting your attention, two people climbing on you like you're a jungle gym. Um, out in public, you'll be pushing two or maybe carrying one and pushing one around. Um, if you're potty training, you'll either have two in diapers or maybe you're racing one to a public washroom because you're in the midst of potty training and you know the other one is just kind of along for the ride as you're dashing to the nearest public washroom so there's just instances like that where it's going to require more patience and um, it's just twice it's just more of everything but don't forget there's more of the good stuff too so we're still in the cons and we're almost getting to the pros my last con is that you do have your attention split. So instead of focusing all of your attention and all of your parenting energy onto one child, you'll have two to consider and two completely different personalities possibly to consider and to nurture and to really hone in on that and possibly very different personalities to consider as well or interests to consider as well. Okay, those are the cons. Let's get into the pros because they're good. They're real good. Okay, so when you have two children close in age, and I am like just over a year difference with my sister, um, so I can personally attest to this, that you are best friends. Like, you are so close, you're going through high school together, adolescence together, you often have the same friends, and you have experiences together, and just memories and closeness that last a lifetime, and I think that that is so, so, so special. Another great thing about having two kids back to back is that their period of development is um, in the same realm. On a parenting side, you don't have to store a bunch of baby stuff for like four years until you have your next baby. You're just using it right away, which is so great. And then when you're done having kids, you're just done having kids. 
but you don't have to store the baby equipment and the baby stuff for so long. I honestly, I don't know how some of you parents do it. Please comment below because where do you put your stuff? <laughs> um, I'm definitely like a minimalist parent, um, but there's still, it, even that, there's stuff. And so if you don't have to store that for years on end, maybe consider back-to-back -back parenting. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna sound a little, I don't know. It takes an obscene amount of exercise and healthy eating for me, for my body type, and for my body history, um, that I thought, you know, why would I go through all of that effort? Because it's a lot of effort for me to get my body back uh, just to get pregnant again and gain all the weight and loosen up and you know like all of that stuff and so just to have to do it again and so I thought you know what let's like pump out the babies <laughs> and then lose the weight and get my body back and you know do it that way then I'm just doing that huge effort one time and maintaining for the rest of my life <laughs> so that was honestly my thought process Okay, so my next point is that when you're young, there's less complications for birth and delivery and pregnancy in general. Um, obviously, this is a case-by-case -case scenario, but in general, as a blanket statement, the younger you are, possibly the more easier pregnancy will be or the more forgiving pregnancy will be for you. But the younger you are, the easier it is, the more energy that you have um, to keep up with, especially two or more kids. And I think that that is just so valuable um, when you have more energy to give to your kids and put into their childhood. So did I convince you? Did I convince you to have back-to-back -back pregnancies? Okay, so it looks like the camera must have shut off, but I'd still love to hear about your experiences. So please let me know in the comments, and please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, live it well, because you only live once.